The broadcast live. There we go. Okay, we're live. Nice. Awesome. Thank you so much awesome. for having me. <laughs> All right. So let's wait up and see if we have some participants join. We yes. have a couple viewers. And we, it's the first time that we're broadcasting live from StreamYard into YouTube, Twitter, and LinkedIn. So it's also a first time for us. Uh, this is our, I think, fifth community happy hour. And we're going to be talking about Salesforce. I'm really excited. I want to see if there's anyone joining on the comments. Let us know. Okay. All right. So how's, how's the weather there, Darren? Oh, it's Florida in the summer. So uh, it's almost 100 degrees and almost 100% humidity. Um, but it's, uh, I took a walk on the beach this morning for uh, sunrise, and it was really nice uh, with the dogs and my wife. And uh, the mornings are nice, yeah. Nice. I'm connecting from Bogota. Here it's uh, a bit more gloomy and uh, rainy yet. Uh, this morning I got, I got some, some running done, so it's nice. All right, we got some participants, and I think we can get started with our event. Uh, I'm going to start sharing our, my screen, and we can start. Okay. All right, so welcome everyone to the fifth community happy hour of Bardeen, this time in collaboration with our Salesforce expert, Darren, where we will be exploring how to supercharge Salesforce with automation. We'll be exploring how sales teams, sales representatives, and uh, sales managers can leverage Bardeen automation to supercharge their productivity and reach higher sales goals. Today, we'll be going over uh, challenges of sales teams that use Salesforce, how automation can be a solution for those challenges, how this new Bardeen and Salesforce integration works, some real world use cases that we'll demo live here with you. We're also going to show some ideas on creative automations that you can build with Salesforce, and we'll have a Q&A session with Darren where we will be answering any questions that you have during the event. Uh, at the end, we can also have a small moment for closing remarks and networking. So I'm excited to get this started. And first, I want to talk about who are we, right? Um, so with us, we have Darren Ernest. Uh, Darren, he is a Salesforce expert with more than 10 years of experience in advertising, marketing. He also worked at Salesforce and he's from the US as he told us, he's living in Florida and he loves to go to the beach to, to watch the sunset with his family and his dogs. Darren, would you like to say some, some words about you? Hello? Sorry, I was on mute. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for introducing me. Uh, you uh, you uh, did a great job, and I'm just very excited to be here with you guys showcasing uh, the amazing integrations that Bardeen has to improve productivity in Salesforce. Thank you. Awesome. So in case you don't know me, I'm Ivan Escobar. I'm the head of community at Bardeen, and I'm too lazy to make an intro, so I basically automated it. Uh, and I got it from my LinkedIn. I'm going to show you how you can do that. So uh, I'm connecting from Bogota. I'm the head of community at Bardeen. And for more than two years, I've helped no-code companies scale. Now I help industry experts crack the code of AI and automation. Um, when I'm not working, I'm usually traveling. I'm a digital nomad. And I'd love to connect and chat about travel and life. So you can find me on LinkedIn as uh, Ivan Escobar. And um, now we want to know about you. Like, who are you sharing the comments? Where are you connecting from? What is your company? What is your role? If you have any experience with Salesforce, if you have any experience with Bardeen, or if you're brand new, or if you're lazy like me, you can run this automation and in 60 seconds get a summary of your LinkedIn profile. I'm going to share it right here on the comments. 
So you can try that automation in less than 60 seconds, you will get a summary of your profile that is made specifically for this event. So let's see this demo. Make a summary of my profile and it got me the summary. <laughs> awesome, so let's continue. Uh, please let us know in the comments um, where are you connecting from. Awesome. Yeah, we'd okay, really we like to know your roles. Are you a BDR? Are you an SR? Are you in sales? Are you sales ops? Um, let us know your role. It'll help us to kind of focus the, the, uh, the, the conversation and be able to customize uh, the conversation for you. So let us know uh, what your role is and where you're, where you're coming from. Okay, we have a Salesforce administrator who loves Bardeen. Uh, thank you so much for that. And um, I think uh, we can continue now. Okay. All right. So, um, so Darren, you're a Salesforce expert. And I wanted to maybe, can you walk us through Salesforce, like the basic concepts that people need to know for this event, just in case we have people that are not that familiar with how it works? Yeah. Um, so... Salesforce is designed in a way to help sales from the lead process all the way to uh, working a deal to open or close. And it all starts with finding people that you want to prospect, uh, whether they engage with a webinar or come to an event and you uh, maybe upload a list into Salesforce so that your uh, salespeople can reach out to them and, and find out. Uh, if they might want to do business with you, might want to purchase your products or sales. In Salesforce, we consider those leads. They're companies that, and people that you don't yet really have a relationship with. Um, everything in Salesforce starts as a lead. And then once you qualify a lead, that it's actually someone that you're going to potentially do business with, and there's a real opportunity to sell them your product or service, there's a button in Salesforce um, to convert a lead and when you convert a lead, it automatically creates a contact record in the contacts object. It creates an account record in the account object. And accounts are companies. Contacts are the people who work at those companies. And it creates an opportunity record, which uh, tracks the deal through all the stages of your sales process to, toward closed one or closed lost. And so that, that's, the, in a nutshell, the basics of how uh, Salesforce uh, Sales Cloud is designed uh, for, for sales. Okay, so let's, let's do a small example, just uh, so I, I'm sure that I get it. So let's say I ran into Artem, the co-founder of Bordin, and I ran into him on LinkedIn. Then I go and create this new lead because he's a prospect for our company. Now, I create this lead and... I start interacting with him, right? Like I start connecting with him and whenever there's an opportunity that comes up, I turn it into a qualified lead, right? I convert it. And yeah, so yeah. once you're communicating with your, con with your lead, um, whether the, you're sending them emails to get them to uh, learn more about your company and encourage them to reach out if they're interested in buying your product or service, or whether they uh, literally you call them up and say, hey, you came to our event or I found you on LinkedIn. Um, would you like to speak to, you know, are you in the market for X, Y, and Z? Uh, would you like to speak to one of our uh, account executives about, um, figuring out if it would be a good fit for you. And if the person says yes, um, then that uh, person that sets up those calls or those meetings would click the convert. And uh, that now becomes a live sales opportunity for a sales rep to work through the deal. And in Salesforce, there, it's a relational database. So there's um, a, an, uh, what we call an object, a contacts object, where the person you're speaking to, all of their contact information will be in the contacts database or the contacts object. And the company information will be in the account object. And the uh, details of the product or service you're trying to sell will be in the opportunity object where it tracks the sales stages. And all of these contacts and opportunities will always be related back to a, the account. Hmm. Okay, I got it. 
And I think this is a basic concept that anyone on Salesforce needs need to grasp before even getting into automation. So once we get that, um, I wanted to also give a small call to action on a guide that we built on Bardeen to walk through this concept and what you need to know about using Salesforce and how to automate it. It's called the Ultimate Salesforce CRM Automation Guide for SDRs and BDRs. So you can search it on Google, it's on our blog, and it'll walk us through this concept um, and you will also learn a bit more details on how Bardeen fits into Salesforce. Now, let's get, uh, let's continue. Uh, maybe you can walk us through, like now that we understand this process overall, what are some of the challenges that sales teams face with Salesforce? Yeah, so it's always a problem with a database getting data into the database. And so it's one thing if uh, someone uh, signs up for your webinar and types in all their information in a form and all that flows seamlessly into Salesforce as a lead record uh, for each of your attendees. But if you're um, a hunter, if you're out there prospecting and looking for people to talk to, let's say you go on LinkedIn and you're uh, mining for uh, prospective customers there, and you find, let's say, uh, a contact in, in, in LinkedIn that you want to reach out to and see if they might be interested in, in your product or service, you're going to have to painstakingly switch between two screens, and you're going to have to type the information in or copy and paste mm -hmm. and populate all the fields in the lead record. And this can be super time consuming. Um, it can also uh, lead to um, uh, errors when you're typing in the information uh, and, um, and you have to switch back and forth between multiple screens. Uh, and, and, and even if you're not necessarily taking that from, uh, from a lead from LinkedIn, let's say, let's say an email, uh, a, a customer emails you and they want to uh, get pricing on a particular product. Um, so now that's a new opportunity. You've got to go from your email to Salesforce and you've got to create a new opportunity and populate the fields. And, uh, so there's a, a lot of, um, back and forth between, uh, what we call contexts and, uh, and, and typing things in. And so there's a tremendous opportunity for automation, uh, especially with, uh, the, the explosion of AI on the scene to um, use AI and automation to do some of this. And I'm excited for you to be able to show the people joining today how uh, Bardeen makes that so easy. Awesome. Yeah, I think, I think what you say is, is summarized in two painful items that are data entry and context switching, right? Those are the two main things that Absolutely. sales salespeople, they have to do a lot of manual work. Imagine like going into... LinkedIn and copy pasting information to create each record. And then every time you create a contact, an opportunity, an account, all of this has kind of input from the web, from copy pasting, from your email. And those are some of the workflows that you kind of ask yourself, like probably there's better ways to do it, right? Um, Absolutely. Like and workflow. Yeah. Yeah, and I think uh, we had talked previously, and I think we're going to demo uh, creating a new lead, um, automating the new lead. We're going to demonstrate how to create a lead list um, and add that into, into Salesforce uh, in an automated uh, way. And we're going to also uh, show the example that if someone emails you with a, a new opportunity, how you can just click a button and have all the details populate and, and create a new opportunity record. Exactly. So now that we have some of those examples in that context, now let's go into what is like this Bardeen Salesforce integration, how it can solve the problem. So the Salesforce integration from Bardeen, uh, just before getting into the integration itself, Bardeen is an AI automation and no-code tool. It allows you to build automations to save time out of those manual workflows that you do every day that take up so much of your time. And it allows you to basically connect your apps, to scrape data, to automate uh, multiple actions that you're doing on day-to-day. -day. It's a Chrome extension that you can download at Bardeen.ai and you can set it up and create an account. It's completely free. And we have a very uh, broad uh, free tier 
And then if you want to upgrade for premium integrations like Salesforce, then you can uh, test it out. So now let's walk through what's possible with this integration. So the new integration is adding a couple uh, actions and triggers into the Bardeen capability. So now it's, uh, it's possible to create contacts, accounts, opportunities, and leads from Bardeen. You can also get data from this uh, objects, from this database items from Bardeen and integrate it into your apps. So it's not only about this actions that is the interesting part because this is only the base and this are only like the, the toolbox for Salesforce. But where it gets interesting is when it's combined with the other features from Bardeen, like our scraper builder, our powerful AI actions to uh, enrich leads, to qualify them, to score them, to summarize information from profiles. Uh, our enrichment tools like Clearbit and Snuff that allow you to find information from an email, from a LinkedIn profile. Uh, we have more than 30 integrated apps, the most common in the market. We have Notion, Google Sheets, uh, Calendar, and all of this, you can integrate them with Salesforce, as well as a diverse amount of web actions and commands that allow you to interact with the web, get data from uh, the web, get your tabs, um, open tabs, close tabs, and those are things that you can start automating from your workflow. Uh, and finally, we recently launched the Magic Box, which is a way to create automations with a prompt inside Bardeen. And it's just as simple as opening Bardeen, coming here to the search box, and just typing what you want to do. So if you have an automation you want to try, you can give that a try. You can simply describe it here. and it will generate a draft for you. It still requires a bit of knowledge on Bardeen, so I do recommend you to go through the learn curve and learn about Bardeen 101. That is one of our playlists in our YouTube channel that we recommend for, start for starters. Now, let's keep it simple. With all of these possibilities, because Bardeen is a very broad tool, it has so many things that you can play around with, I think the main thing and the core value of this integration is summarized here, automate data entry anywhere from the web. So let's say you're on LinkedIn or Crunchbase or PitchBook and you don't no longer need to be copy pasting information from your apps into Salesforce, opening Salesforce, searching for the right tab. You can simply start extracting data from that page and creating it into Salesforce directly. I think that is the main thing. And I want to walk you through some of this process and how it looks like. So in Bardeen, we have two core concepts. The first ones are playbooks that are automations that you run on click. So an example here, it's creating a lead from a LinkedIn profile. So you're in a LinkedIn profile and you want to create a lead out of that profile. You want to get data like the, the name, the description, the company they work at, the LinkedIn URL, they have a website and you're going to run this automation. You will click it from Bardeen. Um, and what happens here in, in summarized steps is Bardeen will scrape data from that page. It'll extract information from LinkedIn or, or Crunchbase very fast. Then, it'll imp then you can input the missing details that you need to convert that into a lead, to convert that into a Salesforce item. So for example, if you're creating a lead, you might need to uh, specify how like how qualified is that lead? Is it a cold lead? Is it hot? Those are things that you can input. So it's uh, a combination between automatic and like human in the loop. Like you can also uh, specify how you want that record to be built. So it scrapes data. You input the missing details to create that that uh, lead. Then it'll match the information automatically from the scraper into the Salesforce database and boom, a new data entry is created. Now you have a new lead on uh, Salesforce. And this is the very most basic use case that you can start playing around with. And from here, you can also uh, apply it into multiple LinkedIn profiles uh, for a list or for many other ways. So now let's go into the next example is uh, the auto books. So Bardeen has the second concept that is important is uh, auto books are automations that are completely automatic. They are triggered 
by a specific event. So when an email is labeled, for example, so let's say you get an email from Darren and you want to label that as, hey, possible sales opportunity, right? So you label that email and that is trigger for Bourdain to then create a lead based on that email. And the cool thing is it can be combined with other of our actions like our Clearbit integration that basically enrich the data from this email and finds information from that email on the web, like the name, the LinkedIn profile, and it uses that information to create a new record on Salesforce. So now let's get into live demos because that's what you, you came here for. So let's see it in action. And I wanna see if anyone in the comments wants us to do an example with their profile, just type your name on the comments and we will go over that example. And we have Arunav Goel from Vancouver. So we can maybe try it with, with okay, maybe we can do that example. What do you think, Darren? Yes, right. absolutely. Cool. And I just think also we should uh, let everybody know that the, the, uh, the use cases that we're demonstrating today are just a sample. And uh, a number of additional use cases have been pre-built in the app. And uh, with your input, come to the community, have a discussion, engage with us, and uh, let us know what your use cases are if they're not reflected in the pre-built uh, use cases and we'll work on, on, we'll work with you to get those built out. Uh, but this is really just a sampling to give you a taste of a few of the top, uh, use cases that we know about and to, uh, show you the power of Bardeen and Salesforce. Awesome. And, uh, Aronoff says, go for it. Yeah. And Aronoff says, go for it. <laughs> so, uh, let's use yeah, it. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Let's search, let's search, uh, Aruna Goel. From Vancouver, right? Let's see if we find him though. <laughs> mm. Okay, yeah, no, here it is. That was easy. So now we have, I don't know, let's say because he's joining our event, he's, let's say, a prospect for Bourdain. He's a lead. Yes. So we're going to create a record for, I don't know. So we're going to go to Bourdain Chrome extension that you need to download first, and you will find uh, a list of pre-built automations there that you will see on explore you can search for salesforce and you will see options that are right there just for you to add into your own playbooks and start playing from there so we're going to go into my playbooks and we're going to find the automation that we need here that is basically create a salesforce lead from a linkedin profile so we're going to do it uh from here this is another way you can uh, open bordine so i'm going to create a lead from I don't know, and I'm gonna specify the source of this lead. So these are a bit of that manual input, a bit of that um, human in the loop input, because you want to get the best details of this um, of this lead. Uh, you want to specify like some context when when you create it. So lead status. I'm gonna specify here that this is an open lead that I haven't contacted. No, actually, let's say it's working because it's already contacted. Uh, lead industry seems like it's technology. And lead rating, we're gonna put in hot. warm. Okay, hot? warm. Okay, hot. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Now, if you're doing repetitive processes, you can also use boarding actions like remember inputs to specify, hey, like I'm, I'm gonna do it with all of the participants of this event and all of them are hot leads. So I'm just gonna remember the input. In this case, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna run the automation once and I'm gonna create this record for our profile of, I don't know. So this will start scraping using Bardini. Then it goes through the automation actions that you can, you can open the automation and see the, the details. And then, so this is basically all the information it's scraped from the profile. So we have a lot of valuable data here, like the name, the profile image, the location, the headline, company, all of this. But what matters to us is certain, certain information that was created here into Salesforce. So some of that information from LinkedIn was mapped automatically into Salesforce. And let's see this new lead that was created. 
Of course, like one of the first steps you need to do is you first need to integrate to Salesforce. I skipped that, but uh, to get started, you need to integrate to Salesforce and then you can access this automations. So now you have Adunav, Goel, and we have the information here. We have the title, the company, uh, didn't got a phone because it's not in his profile, but he had an email that was, I think, fake. <laughs> but uh, some profiles actually have their email here. Uh, and as you can see, it will also set the right status for this lead that is working. So we got that information and now Let's go into another example. So let us know what do you think about this example in the comments. Fantastic. Oh. All right. So similar to this ones, we have other use cases like saving a LinkedIn company from a Salesforce account. Let's say you wanted to do the same, but instead of his profile, you want to do it over his company because you have the hunch that they would, might become um, an, uh, an opportunity, that they may become an account. So you can run the account let's say like turn this linkedin company into an account on salesforce automation that is already pre-built and ready to use too we also have for other platforms not only linkedin you can also do it from a crunchbase organization now let's go into a next demo that is another one of those cases of manual entry that you're getting a bunch of emails and you have to turn those emails into information into your salesforce database so we're going to try this automation that creates a Salesforce opportunity from the currently opened email. And the cool thing about this one is it also uses a bit of AI. So let's get into it. So I got an email here from Darren who uh, we had a call and he told me he is interested in purchasing 50 licenses of Bardeen. So this is definitely an opportunity for us to create an opportunity out of this email. So I'm going to go do the same process. I'm just going to go to Bardeen and I'm going to find my automation that creates a Salesforce opportunity from the currently opened email. Now I'm going to run it. And the first thing I got to do is name my opportunity. So um, Darren, maybe you can walk me through what is like the best practices on naming here. How should I name it? Uh, you're muted. <laughs> yes. So uh, the best practice for naming a Salesforce opportunity is typically the, uh, the company name, the quantity okay. um, of the product, okay. and the opportunity amount uh, right in the opportunity name field. So, um, so I think I mentioned in the email 50 licenses uh, and, you know, just, just for fun, let's just call that $10,000 which it isn't everybody, okay. but. Uh... <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess every company has its own way of naming opportunities, right? Yes. Okay, that's interesting. So you can also customize it to your own company and how you do it. Um, now the opportunity stage for this one, uh, in this case, because I already talked to Darren, but he reached out to me telling me that he needs 50 licenses I think that this needs a bit of analysis because he might he might need more, he might need less, or maybe I can upsell him 60 licenses. So I'm gonna set up that the status for this opportunity is that it needs analysis and the close date, let's say, I think I can close this in a week. So I can specify here, I, I can simply text like literally next week, or I can select from my options next week Salesforce account, I can link it to an existing account on Salesforce if I already have that. Let's search for 72 marketing. Let's see if I already have it. And it doesn't seem to be there. So I'm going to create a new Salesforce account. So check this out. This is a very uh, pro tip from uh, Bardeen is that you can create new items directly from the inputs. So I'm gonna use this action called create Salesforce account with the name 74 marketing. And it's going to create a company record an account as well as the opportunity. So this is kind of one way you can, you can also use Bardeen is to use inline commands. Now the next step for this opportunity is, let's say I need to uh, have a call with Darren 
evaluate the number of licenses. Awesome. The opportunity amount, I will specify that this is an opportunity for $10,000. It's an example. And the opportunity type. And we should just note here, here with the opportunity amount that in Salesforce, the, the currency is something that is set by the administrator for the whole system. And so if you enter in a currency here, um, you may get an error. So in that uh, amount, opportunity amount, you should use the amount in the uh, currency that is set in your Salesforce instance um, and not specify uh, a, a currency, just put a number. Exactly. That's, that's when, uh, we were, when, that's we were, when we were QAing, we uh, ran into this error. So uh, yeah, lesson. Yeah, small, small quirks. Um, <laughs> anyway, it's a, it's a brand new integration and it's a product that is, it's still on building. So if you ran into any issues while testing this, we have a very active community at community.bordin.ai where you can report your bugs and we will run directly into them and we will help you fix any of your issues. So now let's continue this example. So the opportunity type is uh, existing. Uh, it's a new business and that's it. I just filled this up. Uh, of course, if I were on the flow, it would probably be faster. Uh, and I can also leverage for Dean to remember inputs. Now let's, we're going to run this and you're going to see something really cool is that this gets data from the current thread. So that's the first thing. It uses all of our inputs, but it also uses open AI. What do you mean? Like it uses uh, AI to generate a description for this opportunity. And this is the description that it generated. A potential customer named Darren from 74 Marketing has expressed interest in purchasing 50 licenses for Bourdain. He's requesting information about pricing. So he, like this automation, not only got data from this email, it got the email from Darren and it got like the specific items that we want to create inside Salesforce, but it also used AI to save some of that time out of describing the opportunity. Now let's see the opportunity that was created in our Salesforce CRM. And you also didn't have to go from the email and copy and paste and then open up Salesforce and type it all in. It captured all of the information that was capturable. And then it asked you for the information that you would have had to set up anyways in Salesforce, like your sales stage and, um, and linking it to the uh, proper account record, et cetera. So um, the context switching is, uh, is really a big deal here. And everything that didn't, was already in existence, you didn't have to retype it, which is a, which is a huge uh, um, advantage. Yes. How, how long does this take to, to log an opportunity like this one, like a description, like the, the naming, the, the scraping? I think it probably takes at least five, six minutes. Uh, I mean, it depends on your uh, short-term memory and your typing skills, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. But, but uh, and the problem is you also need to context switch a lot because you got, have to go from the email into Salesforce and Salesforce is a very robust platform. So you have to kind of search around to get there. Okay, so uh, we have this new record created for an opportunity and we got the name of the account. And as you see, this created the new account, fresh new account, two in one. So it basically created both the opportunity and a new company and it was linked here. It got the close date, the amount, it was correct. And we also got the need analysis. And if we head over to details, we can see the other information that was saved here, like um, the opportunity name, the next step, have a call with Darren, the stage, so needs analysis, the type, new business, and the description. So this is where the AI uh, generated the, um, the description, it was inputted here, a potential customer, all of this description was generated with AI. So now let us know what you think about this automation in the comments. There is one, um, one comment. Already... Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry, go there ahead. was one thing from the comments that I did want to point out, if you can go back to Salesforce. 
The account yeah. that you use to link Bardeen to Salesforce will be the will be the opportunity owner, will be the owner of the record. So if you can see, it was created by, last modified by, and the owner um, of this opportunity are all um, the, the, um, the user, the Salesforce user that linked his or her credentials to Bardeen. So afterwards, you may need to assign the opportunity to someone else if you're doing this on behalf of, of, of another team member. Um, and maybe that's something that we can take away as a discussion point internally. Is there a way in the creating and the automation for us to assign this to another user in Salesforce as opposed to the person who's creating the record? Exactly. Thank you for that comment. So now let's head over to our next example. Uh, but before that, I also want to mention that this automation is already pre-built and ready inside your apps. You can find it in the Bardeen playbook at, uh, uh, in, sorry, you can find it in the Bardeen catalog at bardeen.ai slash playbooks. And we also have similar use cases as this one. So uh, we created an opportunity from an, an email, but you can also create a Salesforce lead from the currently open email. You can also even use the autobook example that we mentioned of basically labeling this email and automatically generating a lead from there. So that would look like basically if I were to label this as, I don't know, sales upgrade pro, then this would automatically trigger that automation and create the uh, lead for that email. So those are some examples. And let's go into the last example of creating a lead list. So we basically have a lot of cases where we need to build uh, robust lists of leads. Let's say you find a directory or you find a list of possible prospects. Now, how does that work out normally, Darren? Like, how would that uh, look like in the like if you have to do it manually or yeah so well like first off the a, a good situational okay. setup for this is if you're doing account based marketing and instead of um, targeting an account that you already own maybe you want to target which you could do for this but we're going to show creating leads instead of contacts um, where you um, maybe you do business with one company in an industry and they are succeeding with your solution so you want to now target other companies um, in the same industry and showcase how your solution works for their industry. So you would maybe pick a competitor to an existing customer of yours, and then you would want to look at who all their employees are. Then you'd want to filter that by, let's say, the role that you sell to. If it's an IT solution, you'll filter that to all the people in the company that have an IT role. And then you could, with a click of a button in Bardeen, you could add all of those people into Salesforce as leads. Um, and that's what we're going to show now. And I just can't even imagine how much time that would take you, you know, to manually enter all of those names in your lead object yeah. um, if you were to do this manually. And just for the demo purpose so that it doesn't take a lot of time because it will open up each of these profiles and then copy them into Salesforce. We're just going to do a few. We're not going to do the whole list, um, but you can get the idea um, of how well this will work um, watching this uh, amazing demo. Awesome. Yes. No, the, the, there's even uh, freelancers that are hired and paid exactly to build lists like this ones. And here you can basically also be faster and save some money out of like those complex tools or hiring freelancers only with the purpose of building lead lists. So now let's go into an example. So this will apply for any type of people search. So we can go, for instance, I was doing an example here and I want to search for, uh, let's see our, our, our friend that we had before that was, I don't know. Okay. No, he doesn't have many connections for our example. Uh, we're going to do it with Darren. So I'm going to search for people in, 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 inside Darren that can be possible leads for us. So basically this can, this can be, this can work as account based. Uh, uh, how does it, how, how is it called? Account 
account-based uh, marketing? Account-based marketing. But account-based yeah. marketing, is where you target all the people that work within a company. So why don't you like type in, okay. for example, like the company Netflix. Let's find all the IT people who work at okay. Netflix. Netflix. So let's not do it with people. Let's rather do it with, um, with the current company. So you're going to go to LinkedIn search. And let's say you have a specific search on Netflix. Awesome. And first and second connections. That is perfect. And we're going to search for, uh, let's see, IT. And see what we get here. Oh, we have 99 results here. And let's say all of these, because they're marketing managers, director of product, I bet we can find the use case for Bardeen to all of them. So we're gonna create a lead list out of this search. So we're gonna go to Bardeen and we're gonna do this new automation that is able to create a lead list out of a people search. Here it is. So create Salesforce leads from LinkedIn people search. You can also find it inside your apps and we're going to run it from here and we're going to specify some of our inputs, right? Enter the source of the lead. So this is a uh, web lead status. I'm going to hit uh, open. I haven't contacted any of them. The industry it's let's see entertainment. Now, lead rating, it's going to be cold. Maximum numbers of items. So here's the important thing. This will basically go over each one of the profiles. It'll open each profile, get data for each profile, and then generate Salesforce lead records for each profile. So you need to specify how many items. Do you want to run it over 99 items? Or do you want to run it over 10, 30, how, however the amount you want? The only thing to be uh, mindful of is don't abuse Bardeen to try to get thousands of records in a single day or in a few hours because there is a, there's a small risk of uh, LinkedIn basically recognizing this and he, they might warn you. So uh, you need to be mindful. Anyway, our automations are built with the best practices and delays and um, kind of the best practices for this to uh, minimize the risk and it's not likely to happen. So now we're going to do an example. Let's only get uh, three items. Let's get the three first items. And we're going to run this automation. And it goes through the list. And it opens each one of the profiles in the background. So this is how it would look like. Because Bardeen lives in your browser, scrapes in your browser. And it basically opens the profiles in the background. So I would not even see this pop up. It's just because I opened it on purpose to show you. But this basically goes into the, the profile, scrapes data from it, and then goes into the next one. So this should take a minute. Uh, and the only thing to consider is um, that uh, if you're running this over many profiles, it might take a couple minutes. So it goes into each one of them. So anyway, you can just hide this and continue with your work. You can go grab a coffee, walk your dog, <laughs> or... Uh, and let Bardeen kind of do the rest for you. We have a question from Camila. Do you need to have LinkedIn Recruiter? Actually, no, not at all. I'm in a LinkedIn free version right now. Bardeen can also run over LinkedIn Recruiter. Uh, and uh, that's another way to, to do it. Yeah. So this will basically run over any LinkedIn free account. Yeah. So and I have a LinkedIn here. premium account, and uh, I've been able to use Bardeen automations with uh, my LinkedIn account. Awesome. Okay, so this will take a couple of seconds, and any time now. Anyway, just um, just to show you an example. This uh, we have here a lead list, and all of these items they were basically scrape directly from LinkedIn. So I can go into, let's, let's see an example here of previously scraped items and what information do they get? So it got uh, the title, the company, the email from that uh, LinkedIn, and it also inputs some of the details, right? So the company name, the industry, code, uh, 
Um, okay, so that's that's an opportunity. Let's see another example here in the meanwhile for Giovanni from our Bordin team. So we have some fields that were created here as well as some details. So web, rating, industry, the address, um, and you can customize the fields from the scraper into your Salesforce um, fields. So you can also leverage all of those fields that you get from LinkedIn and customize it. Yeah. Did we did we confirm that because like it's not creating fields but it's populating the fields and I believe in our first phase we were just using standard fields in Salesforce. So are we able to use custom fields or create fields? Oh yeah, maybe I didn't express myself well, but what I mean is you can uh, there's Salesforce uh, available fields that you can map the data to. Yes. You cannot create new fields, at least yet. We might consider that possibility soon. Uh, but fields like this one, like the title, the company, uh, the name, the email, they are already inside Bardeen. I can show you in a second how that looks like. Um, and, they, and, and you would map the data from the scraper into those fields. So let's see an exactly. example. So here I just want to for clarify for everybody that we're not creating fields and we're not populating custom fields. Um, this is using standard uh, fields in the standard objects in Salesforce. Yep. Uh, all right, let's see this example. So these were the two items that were scraped from our Netflix example, and they were already generated inside our lead list. So we got Marcelo, Netflix manager. Perfect. We got the status, we got the details, and the address of this person, the industry, and we even got the description that is basically the about. So the entire description of Marcelo was set up here in the description of Salesforce. So that is very useful context for you. Uh, all right. So that is an example if you were to run it over two profiles. But of course, if you were leveraging Bardeen for lead building, you might be able to do this over uh, dozens or even hundreds of records. All right, so let us know what you think about this automation. And as well, similar to this one, there's other opportunities uh, and other ideas that you can try. We even created another automation to create Salesforce leads from LinkedIn posts. So basically, if you go into a LinkedIn post, let's just do a, a quick example, uh, a post that has comments, you and, the, and if that post it has basically the 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 prospects that are interesting for your company then you might be able to, to scrape those linkedin commenters and add them as prospects and then you can reach out and be like hey i noticed you you commented on this post about this topic of automation for instance hey uh, we should talk i have this product that might be interesting for you so you you should you could be able to run this automation to get comments um uh, to turn those commenters into leads. So that's another use case. Um, you'll, you can also find it inside your Bardeen apps. All right, let's head on. Now, uh, now, why should we care about this? Maybe, uh, Darren, can you walk us through this? Why is this impactful inside uh, sales teams? Yeah, so as we discussed earlier, you know, time is money. Salespeople are a very expensive resource. And uh, so the more time you can um, save by automating, uh, automating your data entry and reducing context switching is going to be better. Also, keeping your database clean, your, your Salesforce instance clean uh, without uh, having typos or other kinds of problems uh, is also going to be a valuable benefit. Um, and this is just uh, phase one for the Salesforce integration. It's only going to get better. There's going to be more, uh, more things that you can do. Um, this is just, uh, you know, the tip of the iceberg. And we look forward to, uh, you know, interacting with you guys in the community and hearing what you want to do and what you, what you uh, do and how you use it um, so that uh, we can um, uh, help more people to be super productive with Salesforce and Bardeen. 
Awesome. I shared the community link on the comments, so you can also join. Uh, we already have even a Salesforce dedicated category where we will focus the discussions on this topic there. And we have Darren that is also our newest ambassador on Bardeen. So uh, he will be there also to help you with your use cases. So uh, why else should we care? I think another value prop from this integration is that it also comes with personalization because you can fit Bardeen into your own workflows, into the apps you use. If you already use Notion or if you already use Calendar or HubSpot, you can integrate them here and it can be personalized to your own specific needs, to the way your company types, uh, to the way your opportunities are, uh, are written. Uh, it also comes with premium support. So because you will be paying Bardeen Pro to access the Salesforce integration, uh, Bardeen team will also support you with premium automations, with uh, fast support, and we will be there to help you also from our community. And th that's the last item is that we have a very rich community of automation builders where you will not only learn how to automate sales, but you can also learn how to open your meetings automatically, how to optimize your personal workflows, how to use automation and marketing and so many other opportunities that we're constantly exploring inside Bardeen. So you can join at community.bardeen.ai. Uh, yes, and, and, and I believe uh, the pro has a 30 day uh, free trial, right? I think it's 15 days. Uh, 15 days. So you can you can use it for free for 15 days and you can try it out. And, and also any feedback is super appreciated. Um, and here's how to get started, right? Like, so first step, you, of course, you create a, a Bardeen account, you download it. And the next step you do after that is you need to connect your Salesforce account. And from there, you basically go into your app, you select the apps that are available, you pick Salesforce and you just log in with your credentials and you should be able to access the different actions for Salesforce and the different playbooks, you should be able to run them. And that's it, you're ready to go. You can try the Salesforce automations and when you're feeling confident, when you're feeling that you're already learning about Bardeen, you can also venture into creating your own apps your own automations, right? Uh, so you can head on, create a playbook or create an auto book and you can go into Salesforce integration and you will be able to see the different actions and you might be able to mix and combine it with email or, Drew, or Drive or Notion or uh, whatever integrations you wanna try. So uh, that's how to get started and I hope, um, I hope that is uh, useful for you and we will be there on the community to support. Now, let's let's get some let's get some creativity going. Let's let's figure out what is the next steps, like what else can happen from this. I think there's also other uh, high impact use cases that we haven't even talked about. Uh, and here's where like Bardeen automation combining with AI gets really interesting and combining with the scraper. So we have an already available automation to create Salesforce leads from LinkedIn post comments. This is the one that I mentioned in a second. And that is also kind of a growth hack that you can try to uh, basically based on a specific topic, on a specific post, create leads and create that leads with already context on what that post was about. So that's an opportunity for you. You can also enrich your existing Salesforce contacts with new information so you can leverage our Clearbit integration to search information from an email, search the, the LinkedIn, search the name, search the description, and update that contact with more information. Or, uh, and that is already available on our catalog. Uh, and from there, there's other enriching use cases uh, that you can also leverage for. If you have a contact and you have the LinkedIn profile of that contact, you might be able to enrich. And by enriching, I mean adding more data to that record uh, and you can do it based on a LinkedIn on the LinkedIn profile so those are other opportunities for you and here's like a brain dump that we did on other use cases and I'll, I want to fill you up with some ideas of the opportunities that th this can open up um, and I would love to hear if you have any questions on like ideas 
on things that you think are possible or not. Um, maybe let's read through a couple of these. Uh, so any of these, Darren, that, you, that you're intrigued and I can walk you through the, through how would that work? Well, the uh, enrich an existing contact with LinkedIn data, that looks very interesting. Um, you know, we showed an example where someone's uh, some, inf well, if you're pulling it from enriching with LinkedIn data and you loaded the lead and there's some missing information, you're probably not going to be able to pick that up from LinkedIn unless you use a different app. But uh, yeah, enriching, enriching data is uh, very interesting. Oh, here, John says, I had an idea to see if I could use Bardeen to take some data information from Salesforce and create an email tailored to that data information for that contact. So uh, let's say you did add a lead into, sales, into Salesforce from a comment uh, in LinkedIn. Could you then use Bardeen to use that information to craft an email out of Salesforce? A hundred percent. I think that is that is very uh, very much possible and realistic with Bardeen possibilities. Uh, I think the way you should do that is you can either get the the contact information with our integration directly, or you can scrape it from the active tab. And based on that information, you can use our AI actions to generate an email based on that context. So uh, there's even a, a use case that I was exploring recently on how you, sh you can, uh, let me show you this, this example of an automation that I was building uh, that allows you to get LinkedIn comments from a post. And based on that post, you can uh, redact a custom outreach message or email based on the on the contents of that comment and that post. So you can do basically the same for Salesforce. Like you can save the, the lead inside Salesforce and with that information, you can use AI to redact, um, uh, to redact a, an email. Uh, you can even build upon our existing, uh, our existing, Automations. So let's 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 see an example. Let's say, for instance, you're creating a LinkedIn, you're creating a contact based on LinkedIn. Um, let's do it for this one. Create a Salesforce contact based on a LinkedIn profile. So you can simply edit it in the builder, and because you're getting data from uh, LinkedIn and you're creating a Salesforce contact, you might also be able to add here a middle step with OpenAI. And we have a ready action that allows you to create a customized email generated by OpenAI. And you can specify here like the format, the topic that you want this to be, uh, you know, an outreach email for that lead, the recipient that you already got from the first action. Um, and basically you can play around with this action and see how that goes. Um, we can definitely consider that idea for our catalog. All right, any other ideas that come to mind? We have some other ideas that came up that we think are totally possible. For instance, um, if you have uh, you know, a boss and you want to find all the IT managers for your boss, you can simply do that. Like you can input your boss's LinkedIn and based on the keyword, Bardeen will be able to go into that um, into that uh, contact list of your boss and scrape all of those leads and create them into your Salesforce. Uh, so that's another example. You can also uh, find social media accounts for a Salesforce account, for instance. So like for a company, let's say you you have a company here and uh, in, in your Salesforce and you want to, in one click, be able to find based on that domain of that company, I want to find the LinkedIn of that company, the Crunchbase, the Twitter, and be able to save your time uh, from going and searching into the website and searching for the LinkedIn and the Crunchbase and like trying to get that information. So those are some ideas. And now uh, I think we can head on to a QA. and a And if you have any other questions, thank you so much, John, for participating. Uh, please let us know in the comments and we'll address them uh, live right now. So 
We have. So I have a question. Really I don't want to put you on the spot, but uh, what about Go something ahead. like uh, if you have a Zoom meeting and uh, and you want to add all the attendees to the Zoom meeting uh, to Salesforce contacts, for example? All the participants from that meeting. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's possible. Actually, <laughs> I think that's a hundred percent possible because um, let me even like I think we can do a a draft, but it's possible because we have an action from calendar that allows you to uh, like you would be able to find your get last event, for instance, like you just finished your event and that event has participants. Then you should be yeah, able to but, find. But you know what happens sometimes in yeah. sometimes in big business, you have a Zoom call with your known contacts that were invited, but they forward yeah. the invitation or they forward the Zoom or there's a conversation happening and they copy the the Zoom link and they send it to a colleague, someone else in the company or their boss or their boss's boss. Oh, you should jump in on this call. And so there's people who are not on the original invite who end up hmm. joining the call and you want to capture their information because now you have a new contact in your account. Um, so that sometimes happens. And that's what uh, made me think, Oh, the calendar is cool. But what about when people just join a zoom meeting, you know, during the zoom meeting, if you could just click a button and capture all the people that attended the meeting in, you know, and put it into Salesforce, but maybe also you just want to put that into it's veering off the Salesforce thing, but maybe you want to, send that to a, uh, a Google doc so that you have a record of all the people in the meeting so that you can write your, you know, your meeting notes afterwards and have your list of all the attendees um, easy. I mean, you could press a button in Zoom to just capture all those people. So that might not be as important, yeah. but populating contacts in Salesforce is, um, is, is a cool idea. Anyways, I just uh, that's yeah. something that occurred to me. I, I don't see any like, more in the comments, though. Yeah, yeah. But to address this this question, um, I think it's possible to do it via calendar because calendar shows you the participants. So you should be able yes. to get all the participants, then enrich the information of those participants, and automatically create um, like leads or contacts that you already had a call with. So and that can happen automatically. Uh, so that is like, I think that it would be super valuable because you don't even have to think your contacts are already being uh, added into your database uh, automatically. So that's a use case. For the Zoom specifically, I don't think it's possible because I don't think Zoom gives that information uh, to the detail. I don't I'm, I'm not sure if the API has that access, but that's something we can definitely check and see if that, uh, if that use case is possible. Uh, we have Dan Collins, nice. Uh, Dan, he's he's uh, a user from a long time ago that um, he's an expert in affinity and in recruitment. Uh, so mm. that's really nice to see him here. He has a question on, can you pull participants from Gong? No, no, no. I, think, I'm not, I don't know oh, what Gong yes. is. Do you know? So he, uh, he, he said that, um, he, I, I'm, I'm Googling it now. He suggested, are you using Gong during Zoom? And then he wants to know, can you pull participants from Gong? So I'm not, there's got to be an AI note taker app that might be able to do this. Yeah. Okay. So he's, he's, he's uh, already inspired by this conversation to think of things that can be done, which is very cool. That's what we like to see. That's awesome. Yeah. If, if you have this ideas, uh, feel free anytime to drop your questions inside our community and we will brainstorm how we can make them possible. Uh, Okay, so he says that there's going to be an AI note taker app that might be able to do this. Okay, interesting. Um, all right, so I think we're heading off to the to the end of our session, and I wanted to thank you, Darren, so much for participating, for providing constant feedback to our team and helping us build this integration from the start. And it was a, a great process of building this, and now we want to take it uh, to the entire um, audience of Bourdain, to the entire audience of Salesforce. And let's iterate from here. Let's perfect this and let's make this even more valuable. And your feedback is going to be a very important part of it. So I hope to see your ideas and your comments on 
the YouTube video on the community and how else we can leverage uh, Bardeen and Salesforce to reach new heights on, on, on sales and productivity, right? Uh, do Absolutely. you have any closing? Uh, yeah, well, uh, uh, yeah. well, just wanted to uh, thank you again for the opportunity to come on and uh, be a guest on your happy hour. And uh, anytime I can share my uh, knowledge in uh, marketing and CRM systems, uh, I'm always happy to do so, always happy to engage and answer questions and help out. So uh, this has been great. I'm very excited about Bardeen. I've been using it for a few months now and uh, it's just really, really cool. So uh, thank you so much for inviting me and it's been great collaborating with you on some of these uh, Salesforce integrations. All right. Thank you so much, Darren. Uh, and thank you everyone who connected and uh, who participated during this event. We will also uh, leave a recorded version of this on YouTube uh, in a couple of weeks where, when we'll able to uh, edit it and ship it into YouTube. So uh, this uh, video will also be available for anyone. Okay, so thank you so much. I think we can end our call. Awesome, thank Good you. Good luck uh, automating, automating your sales, uh, Salesforce workflows. Bye-bye. <laughs> Cheers, Darren.